hello students i hope you all are doing great and preparing well for your kset exam so this is a, a part 2 of my previous video uh, you can check my previous video where i have covered uh, pvc first year chapters which are mostly neglected by students and easy questions come from your pvc first year so i have covered a uh, few chapters there and the remaining chapters i will be covering in this video so that if you are covering both these videos you uh, you will have a command over the chapters of first year and this will give you a edge over other students because other students are just ignoring first year chapters okay so this is a, a important tip that you can use in your last two days i would suggest just go through the formula okay because you have studied your pvc first year for one year 365 days just go through it just go through the formula by heart the formula if some formula substitution question comes you can attempt those okay so let's start uh, today's session okay uh, yeah so first uh, i would like to start with uh, the chapter straight line this is a scoring chapter uh, and very easy to understand okay so let's uh, begin okay. uh, so what do we have in straight lines so some basic concepts you need to know so point slope form formula is something you should know point slope point slope what is point slope one point you know one point you know see x comma y and x1 comma y1 and you know the slope how to find the equation of this line y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 i hope this formula you remember and one more formula you need to know is how to find the slope if two points are given to you x1 comma y1 x2 comma if two points are given to you how to find the slope the formula is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 this formula everyone remembers okay and another important thing that you need to know is if two lines are parallel parallel then their slopes will be equal if two lines are perpendicular then the the thing you need to know is m1 m2 is equal to Minus one angle between two lines. The formula is tan theta is equal to m two minus m one by one plus m one m two. I think these formulas are enough for you to get started with this chapter. Point the slope form. Slope finding slope for two given points, parallel lines, perpendicular lines, and angle between two lines. Okay. So let's get started with the question solving the most interesting part okay so listen carefully what the question is saying the equation of the line parallel to the line is t2 minus 2 comma 3 so they have given you an equation of the line px minus 4y plus 2 is equal to 0 how can i find the slope of this line so we have studied if the standard form of straight line is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 for this the slope of the line m is Minus a by b. From that logic, it is minus three by minus four, which is three by four. So now I have the slope that is three by four, and the point point is minus two comma three. Now I will apply my formula. The formula is y minus three three by four x minus x one. What do I get? Four y minus two y. Dx plus six. So now, what do I get? Dx uh, minus four y plus eighteen is equal to zero. So the correct answer is option A. I hope this was clear. So this is something you need to know. This is the standard form of a straight line. Dx plus b y plus c, and the slope is given by minus a by b. So this formula you can quickly by heart and you can apply. Okay. Again, this is an interesting question. The question is, the question is, a straight line is given to you, and this line is perpendicular to the line passing through the points. So, and so just now we have studied if the two points are given to us, how can we find the slope? The slope formula is y two minus y one by x two minus x. So, according to that, what do I get? Beta minus seventy. Fifteen minus seven. So beta minus seventeen is beta minus seventeen. Only fifteen minus seven is eight. 
it let me call this m1 and what is the slope of this line just now we studied right the shortcut the slope formula is minus a by b from that formula what do we get 2 by 3 so this is my m2 and if two lines are perpendicular we have studied that m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 so using that relationship i can find out the value of beta so solving this you will get beta so find that out okay i am leaving this part here uh, tell me the correct answer in the comment box okay. moving forward yeah this question is again important so the question is asking a line passes through 2 comma 2 and is perpendicular to the line it's y intercept is okay so the point is given to us the point is 2 comma 2 and it is perpendicular to this line 3x plus y minus 3 is equal to 0 what is the slope of this line slope of the line is minus a by b from that we will get minus 3 if this is m1 the slope of perpendicular line will be plus 1 by 3 am i right so now i have point and i have slope so y minus 2 1 by 3 x minus 2 so you will get 3 by minus 6 x minus 2 so 3 by minus x minus 8 is equal to 0 so the standard form if i write this in the standard form is minus x plus 3 by minus 8 is equal to 0 the y intercept formula is y intercept formula is minus c by b so c is minus 8 b is 3 so it is 8 by 3 okay let me just check it again uh, am i going wrong anywhere minus 3 m2 is 1 by 3 3 by 6 okay uh, yeah i am wrong here my mistake so here is the mistake uh, 3 by minus x minus 4 is equal to 0 so the equation i have got is 3 by minus x minus 4 is equal to 0 in the standard form it will be minus x plus 3 by minus 4 is equal to 0 so now as we, as we know the formula for y intercept is minus c by b so minus of minus c by b which is 4 by 3 4 by 3 so the correct answer is option c okay similarly the formula for x intercept is yes you guessed it right it is minus c by okay. moving forward again the idea is same the idea the question he is playing around is you should know if two lines are perpendicular then the product of their slopes will be minus one this is crucial very important now they have given you a straight line 2x plus 3y minus 3 is equal to 0 and uh, they are telling these two lines are perpendicular what will be slope of this line minus a by 3 which is minus 2 by 3. similarly what is slope of this line can anyone tell me yeah the logic is same minus a by b from that logic it is minus 1 by a and we know the property m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 so minus 2 by 3 minus 1 by k is equal to minus 1 which gives us a is equal to minus 2 by 3 i hope this question was clear to everyone Yeah, that's all for your straight lines coming to statistics again statistics is a very very scoring topic let me quickly recap the formula so mean deviation mean deviation about mean the formula is so first we we'll go from the basics what is the formula for mean formula for mean are x1 x2 dot 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 xn divided by n this is the formula for calculating the mean and if uh, it is a discrete frequency type of data, then the mean formula is summation xi fi by sigma fi i hope these formula you remember then you have mean deviation mean deviation mean deviation about the mean here the formula is sigma modulus xi minus x bar by n okay this is mean deviation about mean then coming to standard deviation uh, before that we'll go to variance variance formula is very important variance is denoted by sigma square and formula is sigma xi square by n minus sigma xi by n whole square this formula is very important and standard deviation 
standard deviation. This is denoted by sigma and it is nothing but the square root of this thing. I think this much of we crack recap is enough for you to proceed. Okay. And one more thing here, yeah. one more important thing here. If if entries are given to you like this x1, x2, dot 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 x and if the mean the mean mean uh variance step sorry standard deviation the variance okay if some number is added to this say x1 plus k x2 plus k xn plus k then what happens to the mean if the old mean is p the new mean will become p plus k but your standard deviation will not change not change okay this is something you should the standard deviation and variance will not change if you are adding some value to your uh, raw data okay this part is clear you will come to know once we do uh, once we do the questions okay so this is an easy question that has been given the question is saying the mean of 100 observation is 50 and the standard deviation is 5 then the sum of square of the observations is so the formula that we know is let's uh, let us recall the formula for standard deviation standard deviation is sigma 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 xi square by n minus mean square okay this is the formula so let's put down let's first write down what is given to us so mean of 100 observations is 50 number of observations is 100 and the standard deviation is 5 let's put it in the formula what what do i get sigma xi square by n n is 100 and the mean is 50. i just need to solve this 95 sigma x i square by 100 minus 50 solving this what do i get 25 plus 2500 sigma x i square by 100 25 is the so they are asking the square summation of the squares i hope this question was clear to you simple question yeah standard deviation of the number is okay, so they have given you some values 31 52 33 dot 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 46 to 47 so i told you one property if you are subtracting something the standard deviation will not change so i will subtract 30 subtract 30 so what do i get i'll get 1 2 3 2 1 and i get here 17 okay now i just need to find the standard deviation of this the standard deviation formula is uh, for natural numbers okay. standard deviation you can make a note standard deviation formula for n natural numbers n natural numbers is n square minus 1 by 12. So using this formula, it is 17 square minus 1 by 12. 17 square is 289 minus 1 by 12. What do we get? This is the formula of sigma square. Sorry, this is your 288 by 12. Solving this, what do I get? 2 ones are 244 are 2 6 are 6 ones are 6 2 are 12 6 4 are 24. So I am getting my standard deviation is 24. So 2 root 6 is the correct answer. I hope this was clear to you. Okay. So this is the formula that you should know. Okay. N square minus 1 by 12. What did I do? I first subtracted. I made the numbers small. Then I applied the standard formula. So if you go with the standard technique, this will be very large, very big problem. Now coming to next question. The standard deviation of the numbers is root 5. Then what is the value of k? Okay. So they have given a sigma value. Right. They have given a sigma value and they are asking us the value of k. Okay. Sigma square will be 5. Everyone agrees. So how do I solve this? 5 is equal to the formula for this solving is let me again recall the formula. Sigma square is sigma xi square by n minus sigma xi by sigma square is 5. And then you have, then uh, you have, 
the summation of students 1 square plus 0 square plus 1 square plus k square all divided by all divided by n how many values have you got here p and the mean what is the mean for this type minus 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus k by how many values are there four values are there actually here only you have got four values right and square this what do you get here a square plus 2 by 4 minus a square by 4 a square by c following this what do i get p k square plus a by 16 I just need to solve this and you will get the KL group. I hope this is clear. Okay. Do it on your own and tell me the right answer in the comment box. The so, uh, formula is this simple formula. They have given us a standard deviation. I have found out the variance by right? just squaring up both the sides. Coming to the next question. Again, this question is similar, similar to the question that I solved previously. So you can give it a try. Okay, again, they are asking the standard deviation of the data. You can simply directly apply the formula or we can use the trick. What is the trick I use? Subtract, subtract 5. If I subtract 5, what do I get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the formula is n square minus 1 by 2. From the formula, 25 minus 1 by 2. So, the right answer is option B. This is how you can solve the questions of statistics. I hope this session was helpful to you. Uh, so don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel uh, so that you don't miss any of the important uh, videos and uh, updates related to ECET. Thank you uh, for uh, uh, watching my video.